In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to edit text files using the Nano Text Editor, as well as the Midnight Commander Text File Manager and Editor. And we will also take a look at some other commands that can be used in the terminal. As you can see in front of you, a, a uh, Linux terminal is a is an application. It's a graphical application that can be used, and it is found in the Applications menu and under Accessories. There is a shortcut to the terminal, and the terminal is a way to interact with the underlying Linux system. That is what lies beneath the graphical user interface you see when using the GNOME desktop environment in Ubuntu Linux. Some basic commands in the terminal include ls to list the files, and move is, is mv to move or rename a file, and cp is a, is a way to copy files, and cd is a way to change directories to another directory. Now, a text editor is often used in the terminal to make changes to a, a text file, whether it's a user's text file or more commonly a system text file as the super user or as the root user. Linux operates almost entirely with text files as its way of maintaining the system, and so editing text files is very common, and it's, it's very often needed to be done when using any Linux system. Now, Nano is a simple text editor. Nano can be used by itself by simply typing Nano. Once that is uh, typed, a screen will open up saying that new buffer, meaning new file, uh, uh, files are called buffers in Nano. And one can simply start typing. This is a test. And using the keyboard to type anything that, that's, that's necessary. At the bottom of the screen are key commands, keyboard commands to do various things. And these are all control characters. The little caret sign, the little, the little arrow pointing up means control, the control key, the control button. So for example, control X is a way to exit out of Nano. To save a file, one would type Control O. As you can see down there, it says Write Out. That means save in the parlance of Nano. It doesn't say save, it stands for Write Out. But that's how we save this file. So if we type Control O, we could save this file as test.txt. And then we could do Control X to exit back out. And if we do ls, we will see that test.txt is now there. Now if we just typed Nano again, we would be back at a fresh new screen, opening up a new file. But if we wanted to edit text, what we would do is nano, and then the name of the file that we wish to edit, test.txt, and that will open that file. And we, could, we can modify the file and then save it. And if we try, if we modify it and try to exit before saving, it will prompt save modified buffer. Answering no will destroy changes. We can just type yes at this point and it will give us the file name again, in which case we now have an opportunity to change it if we want. We can call it test2 and hit enter, save file under different name, yes. And we can see we now have two files, test.txt and test2.txt. Both of the files are text files that can be edited with nano. Now, if we needed to edit a system file, for example, if we were going to change directory to slash etc slash apt and do an ls, this is the directory that contains the sources.list file. The sources.list file is the text file that lists all the repositories that have been enabled for this system. The repositories are the online servers for Ubuntu Linux where one can download new software. This is the actual text file where that information is stored. We can view this file using less, which is a, simply a text viewer, does not edit anything. We can view this one page at a time using page up and page down, and then Q to exit. If we needed to edit this file, we could do nano. And if we do nano sources.list, we are going to be opening this file as our regular user. And if we tried to make a change, let's say we just made a typo, and we tried to save it, and we tried to, it will say permission denied. That's because this is a system file that can only be edited by the root or the super user or the administrator. So the way to do that is to use the command sudo, which stands for super user do. So we're saying the super user is going to do the following, nano sources.list, and it will prompt, sometimes it will prompt for the super user password. And now whatever we edit and save will be written to the file. Obviously, I don't really want to edit this file with with the uh, mistyped characters, but that's what would happen if 
we were to edit some text and then do a control O to write out. So we will simply exit out of this at this point. We're going to go back to our home directory, CD and then tilde.